are the only boat this size on the entire West Coast that can do what we can do. The Pacific Storm allows us to do research we could not do any other way. This is going to become a central area of research, marine research, in the United States. Storm is a workhorse. It's a great immersive educational platform. It's versatile. Resilient. The Pacific Storm is quite a unique vessel because of where she's been and where she's going. And by that, I mean that she was built as a commercial fishing vessel. She was gifted to Oregon State University and the Marine Mammal Institute. And her future is with marine mammal research and broader research pertaining to uh, marine ecosystems. We acquired the Pacific Storm from Scotty and Janet Hakama. And I did not know them, they did not know me. But they sold their fishing permits and that meant the boat could no longer be used for fishing. Uh, our marine extension agents identified it as in the top 2% of the vessels that were had their permits sold. And I approached them cold turkey. We went to breakfast. Uh, at the Basin Cafe in Charleston, and I explained what our research goals were and our needs, and um, my hope that a vessel like theirs could make a difference for us. And when we got done with that meal, they said, uh, you gotta take a look at the vessel. I said, of course, and it was beautiful. And uh, so I said, well, what do you think? And Scotty handed me the keys. I mean, that kind of gifting. <laughs> I have to tell you, I'm still emotional about it, as you can tell, because it made a difference. It was immediate. I mean, it took more investment for sure, but gifts like that from the heart <laughs> always make a difference. And donors to LSU are, of course, famous for that. The storm has been invaluable to our program and the research that we do. Um, the program that I'm involved in is with the Marine Mammal Institute and the Whale Habitat Ecology and Telemetry Lab. And it allows us to work um, in remote areas and do the work we do with large endangered whales in a very um, safe, effective, and fully supported way. We can put all our crew all our equipment and even our tagging vessel, which is a 22 foot rigid hull inflatable on the Pacific Storm, and they can put us where the whales are. We can work all day, 12 hours on the water in our tagging vessel. The storm is at our side, helping us spot whales. We're doing our work and at the end of the day, we can come on board, we can process our samples in a nice indoor dry lab facility. We can work on our equipment, we can get everything ready for the next day. We can have a hot meal, we can have camaraderie, we can go to bed and wake up where the whales are. For its size, it can really do a lot of different things, which I think is really what makes it unique. You know, it can just do this huge, range of stuff and it can do it over a long period of time so you know you can stay out for weeks I've been on this boat 500 miles offshore for a month it's just got a really a big range of possible activities you can do with it the Pacific Storm has allowed us to take out about 10 high school and community college students at a time to work with researchers in nearshore environments uh, the students are able to actively work with the researchers to deploy the gear, to retrieve it, to look at the samples and sort them to collect data. So we've used this boat many times to take groups of students out, uh, high school students, community college students, and of course our OSU undergrads. One of the unique things about our programs is uh, scientists, real scientists who have real science objectives, always lead the cruises. So the kids are really doing an actual project and contributing. So it's a great opportunity for students to really see what research is about and to get excited about science and to understand why math is important. We use a lot of math in our data um, analysis and it just really brings uh, science to life for them. We did some work tagging sperm whales down in the Gulf of California. We had some tags that were, um, that were monitoring their diving behavior and so we were able to see where they were going and then also how deeply they were diving. And we recorded them diving for over an hour and down to depths of you know, 1,500 meters. We were watching animals dive down to feed on squids. They were about my size. And they'd be down for an hour on a single breath, a mammal. And when we looked at the dive data, which produces information about the depths of the dives and their lunging to grab squids, 
we found out that they were diving deeper than the charts of the area showed the water was. And they were basically mapping the seafloor for us and showing us that they went to the bottom. I've been in 56 countries and worked in every ocean of the world. There isn't a single tagging event with a species, no matter where, that we haven't had a aha kind of moment where it changed our understanding. This vessel has been fundamental to so much of the, that research here in the Eastern North Pacific with gray whales, humpbacks, fin whales, blue whales, and sperm whales too. Probably one of the things that makes the storm really unique is the crew. This crew is deeply committed to the research that goes on. They take pride in making sure the research is successful. And they're very hands-on and very involved in all aspects of it. And I just find that incredible. What makes the Pacific Storm such a great vessel is, is its crew. Captain Yogi and Ken are just amazing. They work side by side with the scientists. The scientists rely on them to tell them where the whales are. They make working on the Pacific Storm fun. Real name is Ron Briggs. Everybody knows me as Yogi. I've had that nickname now for 45 years. You know, this isn't your usual nine to five. You know, we do operations 24 hours a day. We get weather windows, we have big jobs to do. We'll go around the clock till we get them done. We've done a lot of ROV work, a lot of AUV work. Uh, we've done a tremendous amount of earthquake mapping, we also do a lot of whale research with marine mammal. For four years in a row, we went to Southern California and tagged blue whales and fin whales, the two largest whales in the world. What's unique about this boat is mainly this articulating gantry. You know, we can not only deploy things that are large, we can also go and pick up some pretty large things. The biggest anchor we did was almost 13,000 pounds. We've got this five-ton knuckle crane for picking stuff up. We got storage up on this back deck. And then two years ago, uh, we went up and put on this big brand new mast. Number one, it's lighter. It's a better working platform for what we want to do. Very seaworthy boat. Once you put these outriggers out and you put those fish in the water, this thing doesn't roll. So people that have limited resource projects, this boat fits for them because they can go get their work done and they can get it done within their grant. There's no fish hold anymore. There are birthing areas for seven scientists. And I mean, there's not just a head, a marine toilet. There's a shower. I mean, this is a luxury. People, when they're away from home, about all you can do to keep them happy is feed them well <laughs> and give them comfort. A good boat requires good food. Uh, and so I've always been happy with the food on board and the ice cream freezer is always stocked. These guys hide Cheetos and M&Ms for me because they know they're like some of my favorite things and they don't want all the rest of the crew and the scientists to take them all. So they have stashes that they hide for me. Um, they sometimes come out on the back deck with me and do my little seven minute workout to stay in shape. And <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of really good memories. When I was originally hired, which was in 2005, uh, part of the reason I got the job is because I've had a lot of at sea experience. I worked as a fisherman growing up. Um, I worked as a fisheries observer on ships. I think it's a, a unique vessel. It has some character and some history. Um, I mean, as a fishing boat, as someone who was a commercial fisherman earlier, I that, feel that connection to its past and uh, to what it is now as, uh, as a scientist. I feel a very deep connection with the Pacific Storm, even though she and I don't know each other very well yet, because she's got such a, an interesting history. She's come from a very different place and she's going to a very different place in the future. And, and I would say that that parallels my own career uh, where I have really been focused much more on research and conservation in isolation in the past. The future is exciting here for me because I wanna blend uh, research and conservation with sustainable use of the ocean by humans. Uh, I think OSU and MMI is are, are very well placed to make that happen and to make a difference in a way that no other university has done in the past. And the storm is going to have a very deep and very broad legacy.